Yo. This is gonna be this is gonna be one hell of a stream, dude. Okay. So I have no idea how the stream sounds at all. So we're just gonna test that out first. Stream sounds at all. So we're just gonna test that out first. Stream sounds at all. So Okay, so you can hear what? Why can you hear this? Okay, so you can hear what? Why can you hear this? Okay, so you can hear what? Why can you hear this? Okay, so you can hear Bruh. Okay, so you for some reason you are able to Oh, you are able to hear my desktop audio through my microphone, okay? Ah, oh, this is so confusing. So I got this new audio interface. For anyone wondering what that means, it means I got a fancy box to, uh, to uh, control my audio stuff. Now, I'm not entirely sure how to use it. I'll be honest with you. I think it's pretty darn cool, but I... I gotta figure out how to use it. Apologies for the squeaks. Marsku Zombie and Simon. Guys, welcome to the stream. I'm so sorry it took ages. I'm so sorry. I literally, when I got home, I got the box. I brought it up to my room and I've been setting it up since like, since I got into my room. So trust me, I'm, I'm working my ass off to try to get this thing working. But for some reason, there's some sort of delay. I, I, think, I think this is a very common thing with this, but I, I don't know how to fix it. I don't know. If you guys want to look it up during the stream, that'd be that'd be absolutely majestical, but I can't figure it out. Um, also, I don't know why you guys can hear the computer audio, you know, through my microphone. It just doesn't make sense. So, for example, if I if I start listening to this, it just doesn't make sense. Then you guys. So, for example, uh, so this is I, the stream. If I start listening to this, it just doesn't make sense. Then you guys. So for See, you're able to hear that twice, and I don't know why. Also, there's a delay. Yeah, I said this already, but there's a, like, when I hear my, I can hear myself back, but it's like a, a six milliseconds behind. Someone else calculated it, but it's like six milliseconds behind. And man, it is driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. So I'm just trying to not end it all right now. Yeah. Um,. I have no idea how this works. Output routing? Mix minus. USB main will be. Wait a second. Hold up. Oh no, that's only for that. Output routing mix minus. Testing? Testing, 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 testing. Hello, hello. Wait, did I actually did I actually just fix that? I did. What? I don't know what I did, but I fixed it. All right, perfect. Let me know if you guys hear any audio issues throughout this whole thing. All right? Any whatsoever. Because this is a whole new experience for me trying to figure out this software stuff and, and this new hardware. This whole thing is freaking crazy. But uh, in the meantime... Oh, don't look up. We need to get to the top. Let's do this. I'm sure we'll make it. I wonder what awaits us there? The unknown is frightening. All right. Fingers crossed, guys. I don't remember all the all the shortcuts or anything like that. I I've never finished this game, so hopefully we'll get a little further than we did last time. People have some wild shortcuts for this game, though. Alex, what up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Um, hopefully there shouldn't be any. <laughs> Matt's gonna destroy this. I'll give it my best shot. The narrator's voice is louder than yours. I don't know if that's fine. Um, let me turn that down. Um, I, I wait a second. Settings. Nice sound volume. That's that's they they don't give you many options here. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, turn this down. Or even can I turn that down? Yo, wait a second. I don't need to. I don't need to mess with my stream audio. Hold on a moment. Wait a second. I, I'll turn that back up to where it was. And then, uh, you just let me know, okay? And for now, I'll turn that down a bit for you. And you just let me know, okay? Wait, that means I can't hear it. I want to hear it the same It's very one. hard to make a choice when you don't know where it will lead. That is very confusing. You have a shortcut just to leave the, the game for your computer? You know what? I, 
I was I was about to do that. Okay, listen, the first time that I played this game, I swear to you, I was going to refund it, but I played it over two hours because that was my first playthrough. Man, that frustrated me. I was like, now I'm stuck with this garbage. And I, I and I can't complete it, you know? All right, first fall of the night, ladies and gentlemen. I try. I did. I did press jump there. I should turn on my. Uh, I think I have software that lets you guys see my my inputs. Mandatory donation upon completion on this game, or I'm showing up to people's houses. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes it's hard to choose the right path. <laughs> But don't be afraid. You can always repeat. We learn from our mistakes. Man. I can't wait for the weekend when I can actually get some time to mess around with this, uh... With this interface. Also, I just got a, a mess... Shut up. Sorry. Um, mute server. Sorry, there's a Discord server that I'm in, and it's just I keep getting stupid notifications from it. I'm waiting for noti for a notification from one Discord server in particular. It's the Road Discord server. So this interface that I got is from a, co a company called Road R O D E, and uh, it's um I don't know. It's it's a pretty dead server, but not entirely dead, right? It's like someone is talking in there today, and um. Man, I saw someone, I swear, bro, in this speedrun, in the world record speedrun, this dude sprinted up this thing. No joke. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Hold up. I'm going to stop here. I'm just going to walk it because I feel like it's a bit faster. Yo, yo. All right, whatever. There we go. I also don't have chat on screen. There we go. All right, can I can I jump across here? Oh, buddy. That was a little uh little dangerous, you know? I'm Romanian man, better believe it. Guys, I think Alex is behind, is behind my window. I promise I was <laughs> cleaning it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Alex, you can't keep killing people. We've spoken about this already. But if they don't donate, fair. Fair game. Hi, dog. Good dog. Very good dog. There's a bed there for a reason, dude. Why, 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 why can't I... Uh What is the point? Do you guys think I can make that jump? I'm gonna do it. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Yeah, that was that was a. I hate my life. Why? This is not the prime example of what I was about to say. This is not the first time I've landed on an object. And why am I wearing a helmet? I don't care. What? Like, it's not the first time I've landed on an object and it just yoinked me in another direction. That's on me. That is on me. That's fair. Uh, the only way to fix it is win this game. Oh, wait, unapologetically racist to Sometimes my own it's nation. Hard to choose the right path, but don't be afraid. You can always repeat. We learn from our mistakes. I don't learn from my mistakes. I, I just keep them going. notifications on my phone, dude. Okay. Let's try this again. I promise, guys, I'm better than this. I'm better than this. Oh, man. Alright, next time we have, like, a big fall, we're just gonna take a break, and we're gonna, we're gonna, like, set up some audio things, alright? Uh, like sound effects and stuff like that. Look, guys, look what I can do. I can go like this. Boom. Boom. Pow. Whoa. It's like... 
It's like I'm in a cave. Can you guys hear this? Can you guys, can you guys hear this? No, you can't. Can you? Can you guys, no, you can't. You can't hear this. There's like an echo, dude. Oh, I'm gonna fall. I gotta turn that echo off, but you guys should be able to hear it. Maybe I gotta fix it. I'll try something out after this. No, you're crazy. We hear it. Do you, do you actually hear it? Or, or like, you definitely don't hear it the same way that I hear it because I hear it like very, very clearly. It's like a, it's like a cave kind of thing. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. Back where we started. Or not where we started. Back where we left off. Okay. Just climb the boxes. Just climb. Okay. Wait, hold on. Wait. So if I go here, properties, boom, boom. I want to hear what this sounds like to you guys. Boom, boom. I want to hear what this sounds like to you guys. Boom, boom. Oh, geez. You can, you can hear everything twice though. But you, you definitely hear the echo, that's for sure. Sounds like the priest in my village church. That's exactly what I was going for, bro. I love it. Uh, but I don't know why you can hear everything else as well. Like, you shouldn't be able to hear my game, for example. Like, if I go in here. For example, like, if I go in here. For example, like, if I go in here. For example, like if I go in here. For example, like if I go. That's the most disgusting thing. Can you guys tell me if you hear like everything twice? Um, let me, let me. You mother. Father. Okay, I turned, I turned it off. Can I get a blessing from my lost brothers and sisters? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. There we go. Yeah, hopefully someone... Oh! Oh, guys, I got I got responses on Discord. Nah, that's from someone else. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I'm streaming. You can't be texting me about things. No, no, no. No, 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 my friend. Okay, let's go over here. Okay. We're alive for now. We're alive. We live in. No joke. If you want to go, I saw the speedrunner just sprint through this. Far, no joke. Alone. Nothing. Just straight up. He just ran through it. Hey, Sav. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Welcome. Can you guys hear everything twice? You know what, best way for me to test this, if I go like this, boom. Yeah, you can hear everything, you can hear everything twice. I don't know why. Why can you hear everything twice? That's, that's BS, brother. Chat. From here, you have a great view of the favelas. This is where everyone lives in poverty, which is hard to get out of. I'm so confused. This is where my whole life and the lives of my goddamn parents have been. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not sure about you, but I can hear my thoughts twice. No, I can't hear, I can't hear your thoughts twice. Um, but... Dude, it's so confusing. Dude, it's so confusing. And it sounds terrible. Oh, man. I'm, I... Edge, bro. And what it what does this sound like then? If I what does this sound like then? If I Oh bro! It sounds like trash. You guys shouldn't be able to hear the game audio right now. You absolutely should not be able to. Be 
You won't Shut make up, it. Mr. Elephant. Okay. And now if I... You're still able to hear that, but I'm not able to hear it. What? Bro. This thing's so confusing. It's like it should be very straightforward, right? But it's absolutely not. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. To get to the new one, you first have to make a jump and get off the ground, not knowing what the future holds. <laughs> Dude, I stood on nothing right there. Absolutely nothing. I I, I also want to check. I'm just gonna check on my phone because I, I I don't trust I don't trust listening to this on the computer. That just doesn't make sense to me. I just want to hear how the stream sounds. All right, whatever. It sounds fine. From my end, it's just so confusing. Oh, 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 bro, I nearly fell off. Okay, relax, relax, relax. Okay, we're good, we're good. My father worked here as a driller, and he only smelled of fuel oil. I was afraid of him and hoped that one day he wouldn't come back from work. He drank a lot and often beat my mother and me, but that's in the past. You don't shut up, I'll beat you. Never make it to the top. You'll never make Boom! It. You oh, we did it. We did it. I was a bit nervous there. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still scared of no, that. No, 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 no. No, we don't want to be over here. That was my old way of doing it. Hold on. Hold on. Yo. You guys are gonna hate me for this. <laughs> how am I doing? Oh! oh, how am I doing this? Oh my lord. I need new underwear. Okay, we're good. Man, my mic sounds freaky in my ears. It's like slight it's like slightly delayed when which just makes it oh. Is wrong. Whew. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I'm talking about. We skipped a whole portion of the game right there. Love it. Love it. Boom. Boom. Bop. Pow. And oh man. I, I I never jump here. I always try to, but it always it always like cancels it. All right, fingers crossed. We don't have to stay right there too long. This takes forever. It it, may, it feels like this this part takes forever just because it's uh. Wait a second, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Hold up. Go like this. And boom. No. Go like boom. And boom. First try, first try. Love it. Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh no! Okay, we're good. Man, 
This game freaks me out. Oh, oh there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Man, straight up, you guys are gonna absolutely hate me for this. Oh! You can make that jump. That is, that is wild. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Oh, I thought I messed that up. I thought I messed that up so bad. Okay, on to the drone we go. I'm not going for a speed run world record or anything like that. Not even close, bro. Not even close. But. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. And boom. I'm insane, brother. Is this a terrible decision? Yes. Am I doing it anyway? Yo! No! Oh, I'm too loud. I'm too loud right now. This game gives me all, all the pain, bro. I didn't deserve that. I was just, I was just, you know, climbing. Damn, dude. I was trying. That's so stupid, man. I feel like every other game, if you climb onto a bouncy object, it bounces you immediately. But this one, no, 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 no. This one, you'll just, you'll just stand on it. Oh, why would they use logic in a game like this, you know? We got floating beds left, right, and center, like... Not to mention the, you know... Railroad to the sky. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, back into the factory. That's not exciting. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, not bad. So, guys, tell me about your day. I think the most uh, exciting part of my day was finding out that this this piece of equipment arrived. Now that I have it, um, it's really it's really annoying because I just don't know how to use it. Fingers crossed we can get the second jump a bit better now. That went pretty well. What do you guys think? Oh man, I'm risking it all. Risking it all to save a couple seconds. Can I not get up here? Nah, bro. There's no way. There we go. Whoa, careful. You're still being sick? Are you consider not being sick? Oh my gosh. Why does this freak me out? Of no! Oh my gosh, bro. I'm, I, I, I can't help but be loud. 
coin. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Doesn't seem like your kind of thing, not being sick. Seems seems like you're interested in oh, taking some days off work, you know? that again i think i listen i think that propeller thing would have gone like really well i don't know why oh oh man oh man there we go easy as you're on a holiday oh why didn't you wait till you were like finished your holiday that way you know could have taken more days off Boing! Yeah, not not taking me anywhere. I'm actually gonna kill myself, bro. Oh, oh yes! Ah, oh, buddy, we're alive. We're alive and well. Not happy, but we're alive. You know, that's, that's, you know, close enough. Man, this game's... I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Listen. I'll do better. I promise. I know you guys are looking for great content, but this, this is just... Beautiful. Beautiful again. You mm. These game fan sounds cover your voice. Uh, I can't figure out the audio stuff in this. Like it just doesn't. Uh. Guys, can we just can we just spend some time trying to figure out this stupid audio thing? Please. Please. Like there's so much garbage going on here that I, I just can't I can't figure it out. Hold on. What if we go? Mm -mm. What if I just change scene completely? Yo, we got some stuff going on here. Webcam. Why is it like inside of it? Hold on. Webcam. Deactivate. Activate. All right, we're back. Hello. I don't know what the stuff is under here.
does that even say? What does what does this even say, dude? Who cares? What if I boom? That's all in one thing. Wow, that's trash. All right, we're just gonna leave it at that, and I'll just share my screen instead. Because I don't really want to play the game right now. This is making me sad. Game audio. No. Browser. Oh my gosh. Alright. Screen capture. That's what I'm looking for. Screen capture. Screen one. Boop. Boop. -a -doo boop. Beautiful. Close it. And I'll put it underneath uh underneath something else what is this um no uh ba -ba -ba -ba. no oh my lord bro i'm actually gonna have a stroke there finally okay so fingers crossed i don't open anything i shouldn't um so number one the road road does have um a discord server right monday to friday 9 a.m to 5 p.m staff hours interesting so they're useless any time someone actually has spare time love it um so i'm not getting any support on that one um if i look at If I look at Google, actually, you know what? Let me just show you guys the software, right? So here's here it is from, you know, just the start. So we have smart pads, device configuration, and audio setup, okay? And uh, yeah, so firstly, let's go to audio setup. Now, we have a bunch of different tracks or different things like this. Um, so these are these are like the audio jacks um boom yeah I, I really don't need these because i just don't think i do right i definitely don't um so the only ones that i have right now is this is the computer audio and this is the microphone audio now if i go into the settings of the microphone they actually have a preset for this microphone that I'm using, which is a Shure SM7B. Now, um, for some reason, there's there's like a, a little delay for it, right? And uh, I can't tell why that is or how to turn it off, you know? Um, more effects on smart pads. I See, okay, so it'll take us into the smart pads, which is this stuff here. I, yeah, you're okay. Yeah, transfer mode. So it's gonna try. Oh, stop it. So it's gonna it's gonna try take some uh, stuff from uh, my. For the meantime, I just want to double check that I'm not like opening anything. Um, yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna try take like files and things uh, that I want. So there's also effects. Uh, so like voice effects and stuff like that. So for example, if I want to turn on this and done then if i turn this on and if i turn it off but if i turn it on you guys hear the echo right um i feel like that that's like a yellow kind of effect maybe i'm maybe i'm crazy that looks more yellow in on the actual thing alexa turn off switch two alexa turn off switch two I'm going to sell her, I swear. Oh, man, the colors on this thing are beautiful. Hold on. They're, like, so vibrant. Like, they're not, they're not like, faded or anything. Like, I wish I could show you guys in real life. It's actually really cool. Um, so, that's just an example of it. And then, if we go to another one, another VFX is Reverb. No, that, that was Reverb. Echo. Let's see. What is this? Um, hello? 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 hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Yo. Hello, 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 hello. Why is this? Why is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Testing. 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 That's sick. And what if I go like this? Alexa, turn on switch two. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. That's trash, 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 trash,
Like, it shouldn't have taken... Like, I just heard it there. I think it's because I went into here. Shut up, bro. Yeah, clear the pad. But now it's... Now my stream is too loud. Filters, properties, default, chat, and now it's still too loud. That doesn't make sense. I know. Thank you so much for telling me, though. I appreciate that. Um, it's good. It's good having someone to actually discuss this with because it feels like a lot of people in chat are just chilling, which is fine. But it helps having a test. Test. Why are you? Um, you can hear my childhood memories. Oh, you you have no idea. What about now? Now can you hear them? Now can you hear them? Yeah, that, that's so, so annoying, bro. So annoying. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to figure this out. I don't want to have to turn this all the way down, man. be stereo why is this so freaking loud then oh. i'm confused on device config display midi control Can't imagine they're chilling that hard. No, 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 no. Definitely. They're they're all like covering their ears or muting the stream. This is way too loud for you guys. And if I turn it like this, no, because then I hear it less and less and less. And now I, okay, now I can hear it again. Hey, Koala, welcome to the stream. I know you're getting ear raped right now. You don't need to tell me because I'm sure you will. I can't, I can't, I'm trying to figure this out. Trust me. Way too quiet. What are you talking about way too quiet? This is loud as hell. What are you talking about way? This is so confusing. Yeah, I know. And what if I turn like this? Turn the bass down. Um... It's, it's not about the bass. If I turn this off, it's just the volume. Like, I can't... If I turn... Look, if I turn it down in OBS, then it's like an acceptable volume. But that's not like what I want to have to do, you know? Then it's like an acceptable volume. But that's not like what I want to have to do, you know? This is just so confusing. This is just so confusing. 
If I leave it like this, this is just so confusing. If I leave it like this, this is just so confusing. Yeah, I know that's better. Homie, no, that's quiet. Yeah, I know. I just can't do anything about it. I'm trying. When you turned down an OBS, I could hardly hear you. Yeah, yeah, but now it's fine though, right? Right? Filters. It's fine right now, to be honest. Yeah, I know, but it's uh hold on, let's let's um compress limiter. I think is what I'm looking for. Threshold. Um let's say we turn it up to zero point nine. Zero? Woo! Testing, testing, testing. No, we want that to be 60, right? I don't know. What is this? I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. This is confusing. Boom, delete. Let's try that again. Add gain. No, compressor. Compressor is not what I'm looking for. It is a limiter. Uh... Yeah, I can still see it. I know it's good, but it's like I I still want to uh make sure that it's like good good. Like hold on to uh make sure that it's like good good. Okay, yeah, no, I'm definitely fucking with it. Hold up. Let's go back. Filters, edit, limiter, delete. That's I don't know I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. Um but now that doesn't solve the issue of like you guys are hearing everything on my computer twice you know um let's try this how do you use roadcaster discord or more maybe in this video, I'm going to teach you how to properly set up the Rodecaster Pro 2. Get from a few other, all that money on the mixer, get the dust cover. All right, couple pro tips for all of you. Plug your actual headphones, the ones that are in your ears, into channel one. Don't. Okay? Don't do channel two, three, or four. Don't. Why? When you hit the monitor buttons down here at the bottom of the mixer, they only monitor in number one. Cool? All right, that's pro tip number one. Pro tip number two. I don't recommend plugging in your speakers into the speaker output on the mixer. Why? If you have extra jacks available here under headphones, plug them into the headphone jacks here. Why would you do that? Because you have physical control over physical knobs for your speakers. So if you have extra headphone jacks available, plug your speaker physically control when they're on or off here with using these physical knobs about the sound pads. Keep in mind, you have multiple banks of sound pads over here that you can scroll through using these buttons at the bottom. Do not ignore the sound pads and set them up properly. What you're going to do is click the sound button here, if you have that on that fader. Go through each individual the what? sound button here, if you have that on that fader. Okay. Let me, let, let's, let's do that. Let's put that there then. So sounds here. So now I click it on the actual device. Okay. Go through each individual sound. Make sure you actually want it. Click configure smart pads. Choose each individual sound. Do the color, name, edit it, and go through all of the process for each sound. Whoa. And make sure that each one is what you want. And you can fill up everything with sound effects. Okay, I'm open to you guys giving me sounds for the soundboard. If you guys have sounds that you think I, that would be good and useful on stream, or uh, send them because I I don't know any. I'll I'll look some up and I'll I'll figure it out. With but. Music, whatever you want it to be, and make sure all of the colors are unique on your sound pads based on what you want them to be. That way they're actually usable. That way you can actually identify them. That way, if applause in your head is orange, when you hit the applause button. It's intuitive for you to know that that's there. Got it? 
set up the sound pads properly and keep in mind there's multiple banks. None of my clients knew there were multiple banks. Just hit the button, you can go through all the banks and you can program them in. Seems like it should be intuitive, but it's not. Okay, pro tip, hit the cog. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to faders. What do you need to do here under faders? Make sure that your physical faders that are here on the mixer. Okay, wait, let's go back. Settings, faders, okay. Only have stuff that you're actually using there. Don't leave extra channels there that you're not using. It will be confusing and it will clutter your That's mixer. Correct. So for example, I'm not actually using microphone number two right now. So what I can do is click that channel, click none, then hit the check mark up here, and it gets rid of that channel and grays it out on my mixer. It's yeah. less information for your brain to have to deal with on this freaking mixer, and it lets you more simply... Pro tip, drinking game. You know what? That's that's you know what you're actually saying a lot of great things right now. Okay. I've changed it now. I changed my mic to another setting. Um so now my mic is in setting one and my audio is in set uh, in number two. The mixer this man can just say next tip fit. or tip number. Don't forget, let's say all your physical faders are filled first. You can click virtual faders as well, and you can uh, yeah, assign true. a virtual fader anything that you want if you run out of physical faders. In this case, I have a physical fader available, so I should get rid of that virtual fader. I hit none and then check, and then I can add Bluetooth in this case by clicking the physical fader and hitting check, and now it's on the physical fader. Physical faders are better than virtual faders because you can obviously physically control the buttons, and it gives you less clutter here on the main screen when you're controlling the mixer, which is really important. Okay, so I recommend filling up the physical faders only with what you need first, then moving forward on virtual faders after that. Okay. Don't fill up virtual faders and have a bunch of junk on your interface. Okay. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, each of these little green ears here helps you monitor that channel. Yeah. And obviously the red button I, below helps you yeah, mute that Yeah, I clicked channel. the ear on the first one. I recommend using headphones almost all the time with this mixer because it's so easy to hit the green button to monitor and the red button to mute simultaneously. Uh, if you don't want to use headphones, the monitoring functionality on this mixer is limited uh, if, unless you plug your speakers into channel one. So remember, the monitoring functionality is for channel one, channel one, channel one. Just remember that. Okay, with each individual channel, like let's say you're setting up a microphone, do not just do the defaults here on your microphone. Actually take time to go through the process. Select the appropriate microphone on that channel when you're setting up your microphone. And whenever you're speaking into your microphone, you see the levels here? You wanna be in the green, but never going into the red, even when you get loud like I am right now, it's never going into the red. Okay, wait, let me check. And now I'm speaking super loud, and then, well, no! All right, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely, uh, it's going in there, that's for sure, if I yell. Um, boom, 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 boom. And then, wait, one more? And then, now it's, I don't know if I could show this to you guys. Hold on, what if I go, oh yeah, 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 I can, all right, cool. Uh, but I can't show you the levels, I think, I don't, I don't know how. But on my screen, it shows the same thing that he sees. So it's that level there. Um, but mine's 50, as you see here, 50. Okay, that's where you want to be. And then when you're quiet, I'm going to be quiet really quick. You're going to want to see nothing there at the bottom, okay? That is optimal. If you're seeing noise down there at the bottom, but you've got a little bit of high volume, you can turn the levels down with the minus button to get it in the sweet spot. Got it? Cool. With the processing, I recommend trying the presets first before diving into all the other settings. So neutral sounds a little bit flatter than the way I sounded a moment ago. Podcast studio sounds a little bigger. It's kind of like a medium sized sound. And broadcast sounds super blown out and huge like the way I like the sound. Use the presets first, find a preset that is appropriate and kind of in the ballpark that you want. Then you can click the advanced tab here and go into each individual processing and effect and change those settings individually. The presets are insane. I'd say for 90% of you guys out there, you will find either through neutral podcast studio or broadcast, a preset that is appropriate for you that you find to be great. All Another right. setup item, you can do local recording if you want to without using a computer, but I you need to plug in a storage to. card on the back of the mixer. So buy that storage card, plug it in, it'll go ahead and configure it for you, and you can have a backup recording on this mixer whenever you're recording, or you can take it on the go. This is not just to plug into your computer or do local recording. It does both at the same time. And the last pro tip I'll tell you is if you have multiple computers and multiple devices, plug in both of them into this mixer to control both. 
Don't have your speakers plugged directly into computer one and the mixer on computer two. Use this mixer to do both and to have complete omni control over everything in your studio using one device. So as you can see here, I've got USB one on this fader right here. That's my computer I'm recording on right now. And on USB two, I've that's my com that's his computer that he's recording on right now. But he's got it muted. Got my second computer giving me complete deal of both computers with two physical faders, one device combining. Last tip I'm gonna give the chat channel. Whenever you're using Zoom or any other. Um, communication software use the chat channel as your output there so whenever you're in zoom use your chat channel as the output oh my gosh there's so much to learn here and asks you what are your quote-unquote speakers that you're using to listen to audio choose usb chat it'll put that chat on its own channel in the mixer right here and you can control how loud people are on discord on zoom on skype through a chat channel physically on your mixer so that they're what yo someone hop in discord right now No one's hopping in the Discord. Love it. Thanks, guys. I love it, love it, love it. Appreciate it. Koala. Hi, Koala. There you are. Wait. Speak up? What? Okay. You sound... Terrible, probably. <laughs> Wait, do I sound like double? No, you sound bass boosted. Oh, like sugar. Amp. 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 Something. All right. What if I? What if I go? Well, hold on. What if I? Yo. Why is it dead? Killing itself. Hold up. Oh, presets. Okay. And now? I uh, still sound good on stream, but like we. On the school. No. Oh, crap. That's not good. Um, I, I don't know how to change it. Um, <laughs> well, this is depth. I, I think depth is bass. Or maybe punches. I don't know. But I don't want to like... Punch might... Maybe. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Let's uh turn it to neutral. And then... Oh, no, or podcast. And then turn punch all the way down. How does that sound? That's still bad. Okay, that's what fantastic. Sparkle. Spark I I don't know. I can't really tell. Um blah blah blah. I'm gonna keep talking and fingers crossed maybe we might we might be able to see some sort of change. No. I don't hear anything. Um and what if I do this? How does that sound? Little ass. Love it. Um What if you turn the decibels down? Well, wait, wait. Can you hear me now? Does this sound any different or, or does it sound the same? It's kind of the same. And now, what does it sound the same or any different? Same? Are you very quiet now? Okay. Okay, okay. I don't uh, know. Um. My gosh, this is going to... This is just going to be a whole... A whole thing. Oh my lord! All right, I'm gonna turn processing back on here. Air audio isn't jammed up with all the other audio on your computer. That and then let's let's oh. try. <laughs> now I hear your good video as well. Is it bad? No, no. It's like when you play. I heard the video as. Yeah. That's that's something that's really really annoying, because I don't want you to be able to hear that, you know. Yeah. Do you have a different preset for this code? No, that's what I'm, that's what I'm about to figure out. So maybe this one, but I'm gonna change the color. Well, let's let's change. Boom. Boom. Red. Boom, no red, orange. Nah, green is great. And then first one can be red. 
next one could be yellow. So I'll put routing. How does he Edison explain Discord this? On Zoom. Oh, choose USB chat. It'll put that chat on its own channel. USB chat. Is that what this is? Hold up. USB <sighs> one com. Boom. Okay. Mixer right here. And you can control how loud people are on Discord, on Zoom, on Skype. I can control how loud people are on Discord, on Zoom, on Skype. How do I do this, sir? A chat channel physically on your mixer so that their audio isn't jammed up with all the other audio on your computer that you're listening to. You can control their audio separately. You can monitor their audio separately. And you can keep chat on a physical fader right here so you're in complete control of your audio. Those are the most important tips I can. But you're not saying how. He's just saying that you can do it. This guy's useless. Oh. Useless. You know what? I'm going to go back into this and dislike that video. Bad, bad tutorial. Yo, ultimate guy. Look at this dude. He's got like... Welcome to the Roadcaster Pro 2 Masterclass. You're going to go through a series. You picked up the Roadcaster Pro 2, which is this amazing piece of hardware that literally should be worth way more than what you So if you have one XLR microphone, two, three, or four, or instruments that you may cast your two Ethernet port, kind of looks like a big fat telephone port. Uh, and that's on the back of the... That will require you headphones. Now, per inch uh, adapter. Pro okay, perfect. Hit, so now though. the screen will turn on the, the Roadcaster Pro 2 huh? logo and the little blue arrow telling you to proceed. It is all my creator friends. We are putting an amazing amount of content... Okay, so everything's now connected. Let's get started. Welcome to the Roadcaster Pro 2 Mac. Welcome to the Roadcaster Pro No. Okay, so everything's now screen, and this is actually a touch-sensitive computer screen, just like a smartphone. So we're going to zoom different languages. So I'm going to choose... Yeah, screen. I did all this. Call ...so that you can, you change over to... Now you have the option of showing 12-hour or 24-hour screen. Yes. I do like to see the date, and go ahead, and your second option is the white on the... ...to does not find the page here. You can see by default both of the... ...the resource... I'm going to disable the option here, which is highlighted the previous show, which is really, really cool, by the way. This is unique to the Roadcaster Pro 2. Third option here is to import a show or really importing all of the set. See, I never got this option. Default setup wizard or import show. Thanks, no, I don't really care. Oh, yeah. I don't really care. And you can see that all the all the items here actually started lighting up. Um, you actually didn't see it on the camera, but it was actually really neat. Now, the setup wizard will provide you step by step instructions on how to configure your device. We're going to hit on add loud volume levels to make damage here. So, this, I want to make sure that sliders to this place where it's called Unity. And you'll notice that on the on the actual dials themselves, each of these things on the about it, but all of the volume connections down. So, these are the ports one, two, three, and four on the back of your Roadcaster Pro. So click next. Now here you're going to go ahead and connect your headphones into port one, which we already did. So I'm just going to go. I right. did that so as well. Turn that up slightly with your headphones on, by the way. So yes. On. The only one that's turned up slightly until is that pink one on Until you hear the sound of music that's playing in your headset, until it gets to a comfortable point. I find that you know my my volume setting, I like it somewhere around that 9, 30, 10 o'clock position. Now see that you've got ports one, two, three, and four, and these are combination in center of each of those little ports. As an example. Okay. Which ports? Now because we only have one XLR microphone that's connected and nothing else on two, three, and four, I'm going to go ahead and leave microphone selected for port one, but on port two, three, and four, I'm going to go ahead and select none. And once that's ready, go ahead and click on the green checkbox to confirm. And now is the opportunity for you to select a bunch of in the Man, I never got this kind of setup. Writing. So, um, and you're going to place it where you would be best. So, I know that right now it's about okay. three inches, three, set to 31. Okay. I don't that care. It's too low because that's good for my vocals to them. It's a gain for your figure just right. I'm going to go ahead and the cast studio off of this, and you can actually connect I onto don't on later. Care. Play over that USB uh, connection, which is the mandatory connector connection that you have for your roadcaster to your computer system. There's actually two inputs or two channels that play over that USB uh, connection, and then USB two is a separate channel. So you can see here, USB one and USB one chat are two virtual channels that run off of USB one, and USB two is a secondary channel that runs off of USB two. Now I did mention that if you connect your roadcaster pro two to a second computer and you're using the second uh, USB connection to that other computer system, that computer system will see you um, roadcaster pro two secondary. It will not see main and it will not see chat. So do keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and click on the blue arrow to continue. Now this is where you get to assign the channels depending upon the different mixers or the uh, the faders that you have on here. So you can see here we have six different faders and we have six different channels to assign to each one of those one two three four five six and then these little three semi grayed out ones which we'll talk about later these are actually virtual channels that we can use the rotary encoder to configure so since i only have one microphone connected i don't really need to stray from any of these other different options here so this first option here means that it's a microphone and that's my nt1a that you can see in the video right now the second one here is the bluetooth devices that may or may not be connected right now but once i do connect to a bluetooth device i'll be able to use one of the faders to increase or decrease the sound uh, coming from that device the, the third slider here is usb1 it's called usb1 main or roadcaster pro 2 main this is roadcaster pro 2 chat uh, usb2 or roadcaster pro 2 secondary and this is the sound effects so the sound effects are simply the pads that are on the side is called sound pads uh, we can play different types of sound effects or songs or clips audio clips by directly touching one of these so using one of the sliders allows us to modify the volume that that sound effect is playing at so i'm not going to change any one of these so let's go ahead and click on the green arrow to continue now these are the smart pads so remember i was talking to you these are eight different smart pads on the bottom and then you've got the page turning buttons at the bottom you can go ahead and save multiple different shows and leave it as default show at a wizard on so you're gonna click on the little cog wheel at the top right section you're gonna click next on system you can do it and get it right so let's see how to do that okay so to reset your Roadcaster Pro 2 to factory defaults. So you're going to click on the little cogwheel at the top right section. You're going to click next on system. You're going to go over to information. And then at the very first option, view device information. And the bottom button here, erase and reset device. When you click on that button, it will ask you to confirm one time. And then it'll go ahead through the rebooting process and erasing process. And everything will be confirmed from there. And it takes about two to three minutes. Oops, did you know that you could have had. Yo, let's try this. Check for update, view device information, analytics. No. 
Excuse me. Where where did you find this? Very first option: view device information, and the bottom button here. View device information. All right, let's try it. Uh, erase and reset device. Let's see. Reset. mix minus to work the way that they had intended for it to work or thought it was going to work. Basically, when you use the chat channel, everything goes back through the chat channel for your discord. So everybody's picking up everything in discord. And if you bought this thing to use as a streamer, that's a major issue. And there is a patch coming out or a firmware update coming out that will fix that by giving you the ability to use a routing table. Here is a solution to use the device now without a routing table and get a clean, just the microphone going to Discord. This is actually a really simple solution. I wish I could get it to work with Audacity, but there's I'm having an issue. it to work with audacity and the solution i'm using right now is using it with reaper um reaper is not a free software it's a 60 dollars software but it has a 60 day evaluation period if you haven't used it already the 60 day evaluation period should be long enough to fix this issue until the release of the new firmware update so keep that in mind. If somebody can find a solution to use this with Audacity, let me know. I was having an issue with the um, the bit rate causing an issue when I was trying to replicate this scenario and minimize OBS. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using virtual audio cable as the input and it is working fine right now with Discord. And for the output, I'm using the chat um, audio so that I can actually control my chat audio in Discord. If we open, up Reaper right here. I have one track set up. This one track is set to, should be set to input three. Input three is just the microphone. If you have it set to um, input one, that's the stereo mix on your roadcaster. But we go over, so you create a track from the cable which is why we use the virtual audio cable here as the input in Discord. And that should solve 95% of your base and reset device. When you Let's take a look at the Roadcaster Pro 2 screen and what everything is so that you get familiar with how to use it and configure the system itself. So at the top left corner, you'll see that Unity symbol. If you recall in the previous video, uh, you had the option of choosing an icon specific to that show. So if you chose the soccer ball, it will show the soccer ball. If you chose the Unity symbol like I did, it shows the Unity symbol. If you want to change the show that you are using, you go ahead and click on that and it will allow you to uh, edit the actual default show name that's right there right now. Uh, you can change the image here by clicking on that or you can import new shows that might be saved on other SD cards, export the current show, um, and then also create a new show as well. Now, the other function that this allows you to do is to access any of the other recordings that you may have used. So I'm just going to go back out to the main screen here. Uh, and on the Roadcaster Pro 2, you'll see here is a big record button. When you have a, an SD card installed or a micro SD card installed on the back of the Roadcaster Pro 2, you'll now have the ability to record your audio directly to the unit itself. So in fact, you don't even need to have this Roadcaster connected to any computer system to do anything. You can, if you're just doing podcasts, you can take this unit with you, your microphones and your headsets with you and the power cords, and simply record directly to the unit by using this record button. So to access those recordings, you would just go to here and you would click on the recordings, and that's where all of the uh, previous recordings that are saved on that SD card, that's where they will be. So let's go back to the home by clicking on the top right section here. Now the next area you can see is the time and the date. Personally, as I said, I do like to see it because you know I just quickly look over to my left and I can see the date and the time instead of looking on 
the wall or on the computer system itself. If you happen to click that, it doesn't really do anything. So if you want to change the date and the time, you're gonna have to go in here and click on the uh, cog wheel. You're gonna have to go over to now, the next area you can see is the time and the date. Personally, as I said, I do like to see it because, you know, I just quickly look over to my left and I can see the date and the time instead of looking on the wall or on the computer system itself. If you happen to click that, it doesn't really do anything. So if you want to change the date and the time, you're going to have to go in here and click on the uh, cog wheel. You're going to have to go over to system and date and time here. And that's where you can adjust the information if you need to change it. The next little block over here, you can see uh, it looks like a little SD card, a micro SD card, and it says 12 plus hours. So that means I have over 12 hours of recording capacity on the micro SD card that's installed. Now, you'll notice that as you continue to record audios and if you're not deleting from that SD card, it will go down gradually and it'll tell you and give you that little bit of a warning to say, hey, you better watch out, you're going to run out of space. So to manage the micro SD card that's installed, you can actually click on that little uh, micro SD card icon on your screen. And here you can see you can go ahead and erase the actual SD card itself. Uh, you can eject it. So this is typically how you want to remove the SD card from the device. Always go to this box, go to this and click on eject and then take out the micro SD card. Don't just willy nilly take it out um, just in case, right? You don't want to corrupt your card itself. Now this other button here says it's transfer mode. So what's really nice about the Rodecaster Pro 2 is you don't actually have to take out the micro SD card out of the device itself and then put it into your computer system. You don't have to do any of that. All you now have to do is click on the transfer mode button and your computer system will now recognize it as a unit or device, uh, a drive that you can go ahead, navigate through, copy the files over to your computer system. And then when you're finished, you click end transfer mode and then all of a sudden it just goes back to the normal Rodecaster Pro 2. And it's amazingly fast. Like Rode has done an amazing job with regards to utilizing the fastest type of USB connections um, and your podcast files and all that stuff transfer extremely quickly. It's, it's, it's amazing. So the next icon here is a little circle. It's green and it has a little speaker inside of it. Uh, essentially your Rodecaster Pro 2, you can connect a set of speaker monitors to it. It's another line output and you quickly. It's, it's, it's amazing. So the next icon here is a little circle. It's green and it has a little speaker inside of it. Uh, essentially your Rodecaster Pro 2, you can connect a set of speakers. Testing, testing, testing. Um, okay, so you guys can hear me again. And uh, Koala, can you hear me? Still very loud. Ah, yeah. I'm working on it. For me. Speaker monitors to it. It's another line output. Okay, wait. So you have to be, your output needs to be not going to main. It, goes, it, has, it has to go into that one. I don't know. I don't know what mic I'm supposed to be using. I'll be honest with you. I don't I think. I have no clue. Not a clue. Um, But if I want to go like this. And then mute this one. And unmute this one. Can you speak? And keep keep talking. Just keep talking. Don't stop. Yeah. Okay. So that works. That is, that does go to like uh, its own channel, which is interesting because if I turn on this one, speak. No way. And if I turn, it's right. And you can config. Wait a second. Your what, what is, is actually, actually being sent? sent? Is it post fader or pre? But you're able to hear that. don't want that but if i mute that fader i can't um, hear are there any effects or no effects and neither can you but what if i turn it to what if i turn this to uh what what if i go here and turn this to chat so if you're using like, let's say monitor shelf uh, book speakers, bookshelf speakers that you normally would connect to your computer system, you can go ahead and connect those speakers to the two outputs on the back of the roadcaster. And that's called L and R left and right. Uh, you can also right. with the right cable. So, oh, oh, wait a second. There's no way this is real. No, that's not real. USB one com. If I could have like different ones of these, like USB one com, USB two main. What? What? Wait a second. And if I wait a second, are these these are virtual? No, but I can't use what? I am big confusion. Uh uh, output the audio from those two connectors and out neither to like these something are like working eight. now. Love it. Can you speak? Oh wait, go for it. Yeah. 
But now if I go to main here. And mini pro, which is what I'm using. You're going to come out of that one. But what is this one then? How do? Okay. I don't know what that is. So I can hear you out of this one. I can hear my computer. Everything. Uh, if I put my computer out to this, then any audio that comes out of my computer goes into this apart from what's in this, which is Discord. So if you speak, yeah, then you come out of this one, and then my mic comes out of this one, and then this is anything else that's like on my computer. So Here, if I go to this. Uh, or, or you, you can, can set it up to go, go to another mixer, mixer if you have a series of different, of different types of mixers, mixers that you're using for uh, different types of events. I, still, I right, really I want to know what this is. Uh, output, output the audio from those two connectors out to like like something like an A10 Mini Pro. Pro. Or that speaker itself. Sorry. Yeah, I'll show you what I got on Discord. So if I go here, and then voice and video. Oh, right, right. Um, so if I go to my input devices, I got default, and then I got uh, microphone, Rodecaster Pro, chat, which you'll see here is the same. And then I have the next one, which is main stereo. So if I put in chat... Um, then that's going to be you, I think. Speak? Yeah. And if I, if I play a YouTube video? Here. Uh, uh, is going yeah. It doesn't let me, like, separate it. I don't know. But then if I choose main, it also does the same thing. Going to, going to help, help you depending, depending upon, upon what, what you're, you're doing. doing. See? Ass. I got... Oh, fuck. That's so confusing. But... Oh, I don't want to have to do that every time, man. Oh, that's right. Wait, speak? No. Oh, wait, now, now. Hello, hello. Yeah, the stream's good. They can hear you. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey. So weird that it makes the uh, videos play through your mic yeah. on Discord. Yeah, doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm guessing it's gonna be like your games as well. Yeah, because that's that's like I just have my mic turned on. Yeah, this does sound really quiet. Um, what if I turn oh, it up? It sounds like a lot better now. Now? Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. And if I turn it down like this, is it quiet again? No, it's fine. The same? I didn't do anything. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't do anything. That's weird. Um. Okay. Hi. But now Discord's just screwed up, you know? Yeah. Monitor out. I was thinking maybe like one of you can like change the mic and maybe that'll not. Because here, yeah, your I can't computer, I, I, but doesn't only, seem like that's the issue. I've only got two mics, and I can't doing and how, how you configure, configure your, your video, computer system and the output, output of, of your, your audio. audio. Because, because most, most of the time, when, when you're using things like, like mixers, mixers, especially for, for podcasts, podcasts, you actually you don't, don't want to be listening to things on speakers because they can interfere and in the, the audio can bleed back into your microphone. So, so by, by default, what, what Rode has done is they auto-mute auto those speaker outputs. outputs. So, so when, when any, any of these sliders here, here are above, above zero, zero right, like I'm, I'm just going to move these down to zero, zero right now. now. But, but once, once you move, you move it above, above zero, zero, it will, it will automatically, automatically mute that output. output. 
So you'll, so you'll see, see here, here I've got, got everything, everything at zero, and, and if you look, look really, really, really closely, closely, you can see that, that the speaker has, has nothing, nothing through, through it. it. But, but once, once I've now moved the slider up, you'll, you'll now, now notice inside, inside here, here that, that the speaker, the speaker has, has a little, little red slash, slash because, because what, what it's, it's done is it has actually muted the speaker, speaker so, so they, they do not interfere in your recording itself. itself. So, so the, the other, other options for your speaker outputs is you can have auto monitor, Bluetooth output, auto mute Bluetooth output. So again. Um, the, fixed the fixed output, output level, level essentially turns this into a general line out the, the, the minimum, minimum of an ATEM ATEM this op op and enable move me move on. The level distort. It actually, actually doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Be, be, okay, okay, then the, the next, next option here, here that you see on your screen is, is the actual line levels. Line levels. So, so this, this is your master, master output. output. You, you can see that the mighty lines are going up and down. Now, I'm not really using that microphone at the moment, but... When, when I am using the microphone, microphone you'll, you'll see that that, 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 that output, output actually matches what's coming out through, through channel one. one. But, but if, if I had other, other different, different channels that were that running, running sound effects, effects you'll, you'll see that that, that top meter moving, moving accordingly. accordingly. So, this so this is my, my master, master level, level output. And right, right now, I, I, it's a little bit of a loud side, side so, so I probably will want to decrease this. this. It was actually past unity. And this is like the comfortable area. Um, for your, your uh, actual, actual output, output of your audio. audio. Okay, okay, now, now on to the, the next icon, icon here. The top right icon, icon here, here looks like a little USB, USB cable. Is exactly what that is. It's USB. USB. It basically says that USB, USB 1 is connected to the computer system. system. And, and that's, that's all, all it is. is. Uh, and, and then the, the little, little cogwheel there is to get into the settings, settings of the Roadcaster Pro. Pro. Now you, now you can, can see here on the six channels, channels here, here, you can, you can see, see the little white, white bar that goes, goes up and down as I slide the actual physical, physical sliders. sliders. So as, as I move them down, you can see that the little white indicators will move along. So it gives me a nice visual indication of where these things are at and are they being or not. Typically, most of the time, I want to these things in unity, so that I'm not overpowering too much power on any device that's not going to sound distorted against the broadcasts. So I've got six channels here, and I've got six visual indications of where these are and what they are for. What you'll notice is that you can see here, channel one here, the bar is white. You can see here, the bar is actually white. But as it goes down and once it goes down, down zero, zero, the bar turns into a, an outline bar. bar. That, that gives you a visual indication that that channel, channel is completely zero, zero out on the later. So by asking if you have a little bit up, up you know, you know, sometimes, sometimes people don't notice, notice this, don't really down, down, you'll see that there's a little bit of white here on the ground, hey, by the way, there's still a little bit of audio on that channel. Okay, now each of the six channels is easy to use the physical channel, not the original channel. If you click on the number one here, click on that, this will take you to the settings for channel one. Now I'm just going to go back home and you can see the exact same function. Whether I click on the screen on channel one or click on the button above channel one, it'll take you to the exact same screen. And this is where you change the microphone type, you can change the amount of game that's included on there, and then you can go ahead and change some of the process. Processing or the effects, effects that were enabled. enabled. So if you recall, in the wizard, wizard I chose in the podcast, podcast uh, default. Okay. So the podcast default, default, what that does, does is it sets the depth, depth the sparkle, the punch, and that processing specific to allow my voice to sound more, more podcast-like. Like. So in this so case here, here, I now go ahead and click on some specific presets. Remember the neutral broadcast uh, or the broadcast presets. I can go ahead and 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 go ahead Equalizer, equalizer, exciter, and hand handling device. So you can actually make one, 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 one more left, left hand, hand, and you're not going to have more right hand, hand on this one. You can turn them all on or off as needed. So, so uh, uh, this is available on every microphone, microphone channel. channel. So, so if you have a line, line it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, uh, generally, the process uh, will, will still so be the same. Now, the other things on the right side, side these are all of the pads. These are the sound pads. So you can see 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and they match here to the different pad buttons on that left side. So if you click on those pads, it allows you to configure what your specific pad is doing. And then you'll, you know, so I've shown you that you've got the page button on the bottom here. So if I go ahead and click the page button, you can see here that that's actually changing. And so I'm assuming here. So it's going from different types of sound effects, and it's moving now to the um, actual, actual voice effects. effects. So, so these are the default ones from the Code Caster 2 to go ahead and change them. Even, even if I go to the next page, you'll notice that it's empty, empty. So, so if you click on any one of these little, little uh, buttons here, here, you can now change what that specific pad does. So, so you can see here, here uh, this one says it's a music bed. I can change the color of the icon itself. I'll change rename it, edit it, or here, what's on that. So I click on edit, edit. Now I say, you know, there's a music menu button here, because I'm not routing my audio on my computer system. But I can go ahead and make adjustments to the audio by either cutting the actual audio itself, or basically fading it or out. I can go ahead and record a new new audio I want to run through that channel. A lot of different features usually live a little more advanced we'll get into another video. Let's talk a little bit deeper into the settings themselves, so you see what's happening here. So if you remember just a couple seconds ago, fader options. So here I can reroute change some of the faders. If I didn't want USB to be the second channel, if I want to move it from here and move it to the third channel, I can actually go ahead and kind of click drag it and move it over. Move it to the third channel. And move it back to the third channel. So now, all of a sudden, you'll see here, here the Bluetooth is now channel 3, and the colors are changing themselves. See, this is kind of pink, orange, and then blue. But if I go ahead and move this back over here, you'll see every time I move... Wait a second. Move it like the light plane themselves. See, this is kind of pink, orange, and move it back to the second channel. So if you remember just a couple seconds ago, go fade, fade. So if I go settings, and then I go faders... Wait a God damn second, man. Wait a goddamn second. Hold on. D 
Do these actually create? No, dude, I, f I wish. Because this doesn't make sense. Why would they put it them there? Better options. options. So here, so here I can reroute change some of the players. If I didn't want, want uh, USB to be the second channel, channel. If I wanted to move, move from here and move to the third channel, I actually just go ahead and kind of, kind of click, click, drag, drag, and move over, over and, and back to the third channel. channel. So, now so now all of a sudden, sudden you'll see here, here, Bluetooth is now channel three, three and the colors are changing themselves. So this is kind of changing orange and blue. But if I go ahead and move this back over here, here, you'll see every time I move, like take it off, this, this, light, light goes off. If I move Bluetooth back, it's blue, blue. So there's a little little thing to do. If you want to go ahead and you know change the actual colors themselves, let's just go back to settings. So the fader data is gone on the actual channel. Here's where you change the color in the bottom right corner. You can switch switch specifically to different Puts, puts, you know, one, two, three, four, four, back, back, unit, yourself, or you can go ahead and choose, choose, you know, any other George, one, two, three, disable it, and then back with that. You can do that with any other options that are here. Okay, so the next setting under the configuration are the outputs. So here is where you figure anything that the broadcast request is sending out with a physical device or a computer device on the USB line. So the headphones, by default, select the NT100 headphones. Luckily, I actually have them. But if you don't have those, you can go ahead and choose high sensitivity headphones or low sensitivity headphones. Whatever you choose, you'll notice that the sound quality just changed a little bit. So go ahead with those as needed. Now the second section here is monitor. You already got that option. The third option is. Yo, I'm going to change mine to, wait, outputs, headphones, low sensitivity, because it's the closest. And then... Routing. Routing. Now, routing, routing is very, very cool. cool. Routing. 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 You now have the ability to change what channels, you know, so there's a physical channel, 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 in the middle section, you can see it's USB 1, it's USB 1 main. It's the main main, basically means everything in there. Even if I'm routing my computer systems audio audio through to the Broadcast Pro 2 main channel, then that means the Broadcast Pro 2 is going to have that information. Or I can go ahead and select next minus, which means that whatever computer source or audio is coming to USB main 1, that audio will not go back to the actual computer system. So you'll use these instances like my users use Zoom, you want to use mix minus minus mode. And the custom here basically says that you can choose one channel, all six channels, or minus minus. So mix minus minus is basically equivalent to this. What did he click on to get into that? Now the second section here is monitor. You already got that option. The third option is routing. Routing, now, now routing looks a lot different for me. Okay, so there's that. USB one. Right, custom. You mother father. Right, the only thing that I want to go. Oh, why is this such a pain in the butt, bro? Why? USB main. I want mix minus. So if I go into Discord now and then change the mic to mm, and if I play a video that is not what I'm <laughs> sorry guys. So if you don't, if you have, don't those, have those, you can go ahead and choose high sensitivity headphones and low sensitivity headphones. Whatever, you, Whatever choose, you choose. You can't hear the video now on Discord. Are you playing? You'll notice that the sound quality just changes a little bit. Uh, so I'll have to Huh? I can't hear it. Finally, <laughs> I was breaking now, the my brain. Now, the second option is the third option is routing. routing. Now, routing, routing is very, very cool in the broadcast report. And you're strong and you're fine, too. Main, main. So it's a win-win. Or yeah. I go ahead and select minus, 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 which means there's a sister system. Uh, so, uh, so, so you'll use this in instances like you're using Zoom. So now, now on the stream, I should be able to go properties and change this to main stereo. But at the same time, well, now that's a whole lot quieter, I must say very clear that that's a lot quieter i'm just going to turn my mic up in, in the stream um but minus mode uh, and then custom here basically sell it says that you can sit you can choose one channel uh, or all six channels or minus itself so mix minus is basically equivalent to this this is what mix minus is but you could also say i don't want any sound effects right to go through to this channel as well so you can you know make those differences and changes here if you click on the right arrow then this is now you can see the little chat bubble open so this is called the usb chat and by default mix minus is enabled on that and then usb2 if you have the second usb connection connected to the same computer system or to another computer system it's on mix minus how do i hold up Weird. So now the next item under here, uh, under outputs, is the listen option. So listen option basically means in the actual headphones themselves, right? You're on port number one. What are you listening to? Are you listening to things that are after the fader? So after the actual volume changes that from the faders here, um, or are you listening to things in pre-fader mode? So pre-fader mode means that no matter what, everything that people are saying through the microphones can be heard on the headphones, right? Even if you've got the volume all the way down, you know, on the microphone channels themselves. Uh, but what the hell did he just say to me? after the fader so after the actual volume changes that from the faders here um or are you listening to things in pre-fader mode so pre-fader mode means that no matter what everything that people are saying through the microphones can be heard on the headphones right even if you've got the volume all the way down 
you know, on the microphone channels themselves. Um, but if you're in monitoring mode and you want to hear exactly what is being recorded like and what is fader. being transmitted, then you're going to hit this first option. It's called after fader listen. The next option. But now if I go to if I go to Twitch right now, fader listen. The next option. But now if I go to yeah. if I go to Twitch right now, and I'm and I mute browser. Then I go here. Oh, you guys can't hear it. Oh, I love it. I love it. We're making progress. Multi-track. Yeah, the video is... Oh, no. Huh? The video on the stream is quiet now. Uh, so this is pre-fader, so again, anything, you know, when, you're, when your faders are down, the, that information is still being sent and recorded on each of the individual tracks from the Roadcaster Pro. Uh, then your third option here is post-fader. So this, again, if you have your fader all the way down to zero, that means that channel will be down to zero in that recording. And so that may or may not be what you want. Uh, typically, most people who are doing isolated audio recording where they're recording each and every single of those channels, you don't want post fader, uh, simply because you can't edit it afterwards. You can't make something from nothing if you accidentally left that channel to zero. So most people will use pre fader uh, option in this case and enable bypass uh, processing, which again means it's raw audio coming from those mm. microphones or those instruments and being recorded directly to SD card. Now the USB option is the exact same thing. So if you enable, sorry, if it's USB is off, then what that means is your computer system won't recognize the multiple channels that are coming from the Roadcaster Pro 2. And oh. it's very specific software that sees that. So things like Audacity or Adobe Audition are two popular um, uh, softwares that can see the multiple tracks from the Roadcaster Pro 2. So, but if you are that type of person who wants to record those multiple channels on your computer system rather than just the SD card, then you'll go ahead mm -hmm. and again, select pre-fader um, uh, option here. Now, since I have not enabled it, it's actually saying, okay, by the way, when you do this, stuff is gonna be interrupted. So if I just, just go ahead and say apply. Um, and so now, Hello. With this section here, prefix. Uh, um, your mic's muted on. Oh, your mic. Hey, you sound like you're in a hallway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure. It, I think it might be yeah, when you muted yeah. yeah. the video I, as I well. Muted well. you. No, 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 I did that here on the settings. It's uh, it's this thing here. So I put it to USB, but post fader. Uh, you can see it there on the stream. Fader and then bypass back processing. Back now that raw audio from the microphones and the instruments that are connected into the system is going directly into multiple channels.
Oh, but good now, now, if good I if, if I press this, can the stream hear the echo or no? I don't think so. Give it a second and I'll tell you. Yeah, the yeah, stream can hear the echo. Like very clearly that that's the echo and it's not just the not just the mic. It's not like it's not echoey, like it's echoey, like it's more like, more like, like Yeah, no, I don't know how to explain, know how to it, explain it, but you can hear it. Can hear it. Is it the same that's in Discord or no? Yeah. Yeah. Test, 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 test. test. All the, all the, all the. Oh, mic testing in Discord is garbage. Yeah. In my software on the. If we have a look at the pads here, I know you guys can't see them, but I am um, the computer I system. Have... And that basically means that I can. It really just sounds like you're in a big empty room. So <laughs> um, he has eight pads here, and I only actually have one of them dedicated to anything. If we go here to our, our pads. This one, nothing. Here, the pad. I guess it was just empty. I guess. Um, fader mixer. Pad. My iMac oh yeah, the stream. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? I hear myself, I hear twice, myself on twice on the, on the stream. Oh, why? I don't know. I don't know. Why? Oh, wait a second. I think I know why. Your setup. That's just. Nope. Used. So your audio is coming through my microphone. Well, <laughs> so confusing. Tell me about it. I'm just trying to live my life out here, and it's not working. Uh, faders option monitor. Headphones? No. Missing? Routing. And I go to USB 1. No. Custom. And the only thing, and how do I mute this? By the way, you're okay. still streaming yeah, only up. Only you should up. Roll. <laughs> I can't hear you at all. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Cool. I don't know what I did. Can you speak? Hello. Bark. Bark. Hey, but the stream can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Twice. Twice. That's so Oh man, fix this. <laughs> I already struggled to, struggle to hear my own voice. Now I have to listen, have to, listen to, it to it twice. Twice. Fix it on the stream so that you can only hear it once, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Um, speak. Now you're not coming through at all. Speak up. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay, so the stream can hear you. Like, fix your, your, what you're streaming. Sorry? That's not the replay. Yeah, 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 I know, I turned that off. But if I turn it on like this, you should be able to hear it, right? Yeah, it's not the echo again. Yeah, yeah, reverb. Um, I 
That should just be me. Like an IT. Then someone. <laughs> Hot tub streams. I'm figuring that out. True, yeah, no, realistically, someone probably offers to do it for them. Well, they have a guy. Use the rotary encoder to change the brightness levels of the uh, unit itself. Now, let's go back one. This new is you're going to dim um, this. So, I touching anything, what is what? Select this, the actual. And what this does is it adds some additional. Really close and looking at that, uh, personally because the screen actually has feedback, physical feedback, kind of like your smartphone. Um, haptics going through here. So let's go back to display. Um, haptics. So this touch screen actually has feedback, physical feedback, kind of like your smartphone. So you can go ahead and just have haptic feedback on uh, when, when you hold uh, your finger down on the screen. You can have zero feedback. Or you can actually have every oh, time all you the time. tick, I love you that. tap on something on the screen, it goes zip, 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 you know. Smart so you can, you can do something like that. Personally, I just leave it fingers. when I'm holding my finger down. Now, the record button here, uh, remember, this is the record button that's on the side of your Roadcaster Pro. Uh, you can, button that's on the side? Uh, remember, this is the record button that's on the side. Oh, yeah, no. Um, what if I do this, but then mute it? You, do you still hear the, the echo? Yeah. That's I weird. Then, then I have no idea what this thing's for. Boom. Gonzo. Don't. Those are for then. Can you speak? Hello. Why are you coming through this audio? <laughs> Sense. Each one of these should be their own thing, right? Right, so, okay, let's turn that off. That's annoying. Um, so this is my microphone. Easy as, just, that's it. And this should be you. So if I'm speaking through here, you're there. Discord should be... Nice. Main. Easy as. Speak. Speak louder. Speak louder. Yeah, I don't know why you're coming know. through like on the stream, but not on Discord when they're both when both mics are set to the same thing. Now speak. Go for it. Keep talking. Well, now that's fixed. But, well, yeah, but if I go like this and turn this volume down. Oh, but it's so loud on, on, on Twitch. Holy mother moly. This is, aw this is awful. Speak. You're confused. I'm confused, bro. What the f It's the worst. Audio output capture, add source. I don't care. Boom. Boom. Speakers. Speak? Hello. Okay. Now Hello, keep keep team. now keep talking. All right. Can you hear me? Is it working? Test test. One two three. That's wrong. 
output. But what if I go uh, input? Audio input capture. All right, I'm gonna mute that one. Oh, you speak? That's weird. I don't wanna close that one. Sorry. Okay. No. No, fuck's sake. Guys, this is so much more complicated than you, you you even understand. So much more complicated. Fuck. This sucks, dude. Let's just keep watching this stupid side of your Roadcaster Pro. I uh, can't even you hear can the audio anymore. Enable it so that when I you can't, I literally can't. I cannot hear the audio anymore. Fan fucking fantastic. Well, isn't it fine at some point? Yep. All right. Hey, you're just as confused as me. <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. So confused. I can't even begin to. I, I, like, it does not make sense. I need someone to sit down and explain this to me. I'm so lost. Oh, this is so stupid. Um, ba -ba -ba. all right, speak. Hello. Are you coming through on Discord? Yeah. Turn on the stream, which is fine. And then you only hear me, which is also fine. But when I do this, you hit record and you hit it again, it'll pause. I still can't hear shit, bro. <laughs> the recording or I'm the so other like option the... here is you can I'm just press it to stop confused. it on channels themselves. Um, but if you're in monitoring mode and you want to hear exactly what is being recorded and what is being transmitted, then you're going to hit this first option. It's called, it's called after, after fader, fader listen. listen. I kill myself. Okay, so I can hear it now. But uh, this, it's not the way that I want to hear it. Routing, USB 1, custom, um, mix, minus. The next, the op next option. You son of a bitch. I don't want to fucking hear you. Here is called, here is called multi. Why are you come? Oh my god! I'm actually, I'm, 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 I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay, so here, I don't want to hear your stupid ass. Multi track, multi track, essentially. Essentially, but then I can't hear it. I want to be able to hear the video, but I don't want the stream to hear the video, right? Well, hold on. You're hearing it anyway through the browser, but allows you to change. I, I, I want to be able to hear it, but not have the stream hear it through my mic. You know. Yeah. that records multiple tracks over USB. So on the recording side, uh, right now, multi-track. But I can go ahead and click on pre-fader and then inc uh, include the option to bypass any processing. Shut the fuck up, goatee.
Give up. Never. I, I, I spent I spent too much money to give up on this. <laughs> I don't mean on that. You know, else. No oh, life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've tried that. Still here, kicking. Auto mute monitor output. When enabled, monitor output will be muted when a microphone channel fader is lifted to prevent feedback. I don't know what the hell that means. I'm trying to think what the hell is going on here. So if I go into this one, I do not want to hear this. And I don't want to hear this, right? I don't want those to be affected, right? And then I take this mm -hmm. and I do want to hear, or I don't want to hear this, and I don't want to hear oh, this. Bye. I want to be able to hear it. <laughs> Thing which means that I'm gonna fucking kill you. I swear to God, bro. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna blow up my own goddamn room. You piece of all channels uh. will be included in USBs. Yeah, as if they're okay. not already, donkey. Koala, I can't hear you. Hold up. Nice. First, no, I can't hear you. Now you can't hear me. I can hear you now, but... <sighs> I'm losing the will to live. I just want to buy a stupid subscription. Let me buy it. Speak. Speak. Hello. Go again. Can you hear me? Those voice effects and all that stuff. Oh, my God. is not being recorded it's basic basically uh. the raw audio that's coming from your microphones or your line input devices it allows you to do all of the editing afterwards when you bring uh, each of those tracks into your software Faders, dials, buttons, this Rodecaster Pro 2 has it all. Let's switch over to this camera here, and you can see here that we have a lot of buttons and sliders and dials, and what does each and every single one of them do? So I'm just going to go through real quick what these are. Top left corner, you've got SD card audio, the fields one through four for your having this print four. So I can go ahead and do that. This end right now, that rotary encoder allows you to uh, configure and and change virtual channels now. So you'll see, remember, we have the six physical channels and there are additional three virtual channels and that is how you actually make the adjustments on uh, on those channels using the rotary encoder. And on the right side here, you've got your page This for that channel itself. So this is the first button, this is the second button, third button, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So you can change each and every single one of those functions by changing, uh, clicking on that button. To get out of the screen, simply just click the button again and it goes back to your original screen. Um, these are your faders or your sliders. So this is essentially affecting and changing the volume level of that, uh, of that channel itself. So on this first channel, I have my main microphone. So if I bring it out again, you'll see that as I'm talking to the microphone, this audio level is going up and it's hitting what we call the unity level, which is kind of like the sweet spot for your audio. But if I wanted to lower my volume, I'm gonna go ahead and move this slider down. And now my voice is, I'm still speaking normally, but on the Rodecaster Pro 2, it's now very, very quiet. So you can change that. Now, most of the time, you're not gonna do that to your microphones, but you'll do that to other channels, such as the Bluetooth channel, right? So if I've got this as my main audio, and this is the Bluetooth channel, and if I'm playing music on my phone nice. through Bluetooth to the Rodecaster Pro 2, I can 
I can leave the I didn't music have it in for that long. It was two minutes. So that it doesn't overpower my voice. So you can do things like that. And again, mm. any of these channels, you can alter and change. Uh, this last mm. channel currently I have on the sound effect. So if I had this connected to my computer system you and I hit a sound effect like button, it's supposed to be then, bad time. Um, Absolutely is. But I don't want to. Not yet. I, I really want to figure this out. Um, so this is for sound effects. So if I was going to do this, um, this is not a sound effect, so I can't really test it, but I get what he means. You know, this is the act itself. At the very bottom of being one microphone like that, but it actually turns to red or make it a red and that allows me to talk to other people. So if I knew that... Wait I a second. If I do this and this, wait, 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 wait. I had, you know, four speakers on channel one, two, three. Stupid bitch. Not you, not you. Three and four. Myself and three different guests, right? Um, if we, we could actually talk to each other at the exact time, because the music is going to be playing through that recording <laughs> or that broadcast. So that's un So these are Caster Pro 2. Did you know that you could have had... Channels the Roadcaster Pro 2 is such a revolution in the physical... Panels are adjusted through these six physical faders. Man, imagine knowing how to use this thing. That, uh, uh, what, what a life this guy must live. As well as the modifier buttons here. So these are the settings for each of these different channels. Now you've yeah, got he over probably here sat in virtual channels. And in order to adjust those, you're going to use the old encoder. Types of the rotary just to figure it out. Yeah. Push button and Honestly. dial. Uh, so it allows you to make these adjustments easily. So to, let's say, for example, let's say we want to adjust uh, here. This is the... These are the sound pad volume, so we can just click on anything there, and then we can go ahead and reduce or uh, increase that, and we press the rotary encoder to complete that. Or if you want to go ahead and mute that channel, you're going to click on the uh, middle section again, and you're going to click on mute. Um, now, it sometimes depends. You know, these are small little buttons here, so you want to either hit mute that or you can solo that. Uh, so that's a really interesting feature with this. Now, it's not as quick and easy to adjust these virtual channels using the rotor encoder, but it's extremely simple once you get the hang of it. So what you want to do is the strategy is you want to uh, apply your physical devices that you have. Whether Strange. Their microphone, so there is audio going through to that one. Or instruments, and you want to put those on. And you guys can hear it. Mm. But I can't hear it. Weird, right? I forgot, yeah. Oh, wait. Bye, motherfucker. Stop me, Odie. Sorry. Me on. Why is it such a... You motherfucker. You fucking with me right now. Fuck it. I'm putting it in timeout. You bitch. Fuck you. Now I can't even hear. Oh my Christ. Physical sliders are the physical channels themselves. And then the virtual channels can be things that you're not going to necessarily adjust as frequently. So it could be the sound pads or it could be audio coming in from a computer system like a virtual channel or a paper in uh, physical faders uh, for those first six channels. Now, I could either, either say one, two, three, four, five, or six, but really, mm -hmm. uh, those are just the numerical values mm -hmm. because, see, one of the cool things about the Broadcaster Pro mm -hmm. 2 is that you can dynamically change each and every one of these physical channels to any input source that is available on this Broadcaster Pro. So you can see here, uh, if I go ahead and choose channel one, right now I've got my lav mic that's set to that. You can see the audio meter is going up and down. Uh, however, if I click on the settings for number two, currently it's set for a condenser, but there's nothing physically connected to that device. However, I've got all the different microphones that I can select here. Now, if it's not a device that I want to connect it to uh, in terms of the channels on the back, like the physical one, two, three, four inputs on the back, then I can go ahead and make different adjustments and set this to a virtual channel. And if I want to change this second fader to a virtual channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the settings with a cog wheel. I'm going to click on that. You can see the green area here uh, signifies that it is a cog wheel. I'm going to click on that. You can see the green area here uh, signifies that it is now on input number two on the back of the device. 
So I can go ahead and change that to any one of these other virtual channels that are available. Uh, so it could be a Bluetooth setting or USB 1 main or USB 1 chat or USB 2 or the different uh, sound pads. Now I already have the sound pads applied to a different channel so you can see here that each of these little colors means it's already been uh, assigned to something, either a virtual or a physical channel. Uh, now one other cool thing about this uh, Rodecaster Pro 2 is I can create stereo channels. So microphones are essentially mono, so they are just one, uh, they're not, they're not left-right stereo. But if I have uh, two microphones, I can go ahead and connect uh, them into, let's say, inputs two and kid. three, and then and convert them into a stereo Yesterday. input. So that left goes to oh, one congratulations. goes to the right channel, so you have this kind of like stereophonic uh, kind aunt. of audio. Uh, I can go Again. ahead and change the <laughs> uh, visual on it as well in terms Congrats, of the Congrats, that's awesome. Itself. So you can see here on the... Uh, on the second channel, this is mm. green. Now, on your video, it's not going to be as easily visible, but it's a light green. What's the name? And this one's like a more rich green. Allura. Uh, this light green, I can go ahead oh, and change nice that name. over here. And if I want to turn that one red, then I can go ahead and click red. And um, and then all of a sudden, you can see that yeah. it is now red. So that's some of the really Oof. cool things about uh, this, uh, this new Rodecaster Pro 2. So again, if I want to go ahead and change anything with regards to these physical faders or channels, I can go ahead and click on the top button here and go inside and either change the type of microphone that it is, or I can on save these physical connected cool you know, from the Pro 2 to Pro 2. Very important, uh, might go ahead and connect uh, your microphone, dive into She's that's apparently a microphone that a fat little baby. <laughs> build that phantom power slider here. That's the a thing is, any Okay, so the phone. If I'm going to connect Short a phone to the line input device, <laughs> I'm going to choose line in. And then this level box here will change accordingly. So let me go through what this is. So let me, I'm going to play around with channel two so that we're not going to mess around with my current microphone. Line in is essentially a, <sighs> uh, a, a device that sends a flat a signal, right? It's a device that sends a flat signal so that it's not amplified. Uh, and the reason why you need that is so that the amplification doesn't cause distortion. Uh, pass can uh, into that. You can, and you'll see by default it starts at zero dB. Well, they had the sure and that it noise and be requires in order to be able to uh, sound good, right? Like you've got. Um, You've got usually these faders on the Roadcaster Pro 2. Most of the people had their faders all the way to the top. And it was yeah, like maxing out. And then with the cloud lifter, they would be able to bring it back mm -hmm. down to closer to Unity, if not a little bit higher. But you that, have your you know, phone by over hundred dollars extra. I do. So now but it's with on the Roadcaster Pro 2, you actually don't need that extra boost. So you can what's just connect your Shure SM seven B directly to the Roadcaster huh? Pro 2. No, it's new. Leave it at Unity and have a good volume uh, um, amplification without any of that low noise floor. Now you may have noticed on the bottom right here of the section here, there's this little road. It looks like a doll and my phone died. You. Um, you can see <laughs> here that there's this, it says off, right? This little O with a slash on it and then the off. This essentially changes the phase of the microphone. So if you're having some sort of a microphone feedback or some sort of noise that's happening in the line, you may, you may need to change that phase. It's kind of like a balanced microphone cable that has uh, a line coming back, which equalizes mm -hmm or neutralizes the sound coming from the other side so that it actually... Yeah, they both have uh, their really fathers a little noise. etching so in the... That, that button there is... The on, eyebrow uh, thing. On, as an option, if you need to... I saw it for like a split second before, before my phone turned off. <laughs> Did you know that you could have had access to this entire Roadcaster Pro 2 series? Audio processing One basics. One of the greatest things that makes the Roadcaster now these effects... And let's go look at how you want to use these settings buttons there. On and so forth, but it's on this right side that I want right now because that's without here change. Uh, so if you in the term cast through there or here is shape and you're gonna hit and for most people, however, one and we've got access to a month ago. Yo, I know this guy is like trying to do his best, but it's this pissing me off that he hasn't even touched on basic topics. Like, if you're using this, like. This is a very, I feel like this is a very simple topic, right? You're, you're using it 
as as like you you your your microphone, right? And then you're in mm -hmm. a call as well. And then you have your other stuff, right? And you're streaming. Okay, so your your mic, your phone call, your browser, like YouTube, and you're streaming, right? I don't I do not want you guys to hear everything coming through my microphone. I don't need it. No one needs that. N who needs to hear that? Nobody. Right? You you don't, mm. like if I if I want you guys to hear my stuff, I will put it through another channel. Why why can't I do that? And if I can, why is it not basic? Why why is it very like complicated to do this? Attach to you know, now he's going through all these stupid advanced features, like like as if we don't know how to do that. that you don't get Bluetooth devices, YouTube. I don't care. Smart smartphone, don't care. How to use a dynamic dynamic microphone. In the next few segments, I'm. Uh, it's a very the reason why microphone in this now device. I'm going. To Dude's literally showing us how to plug in a microphone. Shut up. Wireless mic. How to connect your. Computer through USB. Oh, kill yourself. Listen, I must say, this guy's definitely good at whatever he does, but God, he's useless. Five underrated <laughs> features of the Rodecaster. Uh, name one useful feature of it. Uh, maybe for streams, podcasts. How to use onboard processing. I don't give a fuck. I'm about to tap out. Hi, James here. Oh, and me too. Videos about you can do all sorts of just up there. So you don't have to be costing. We do a podcast. It have been about an hour ago. The good news to note this demonstration to the USB to video eat the Pro 2. Click the green tick. Do you could then program this for sure to select exclude. That was. I, the next I hate this. I hate this. I hate it. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to mess around with it more on the weekend. Like I have no doubt this can do what I want it to do. It's just absolutely stupid to do that. You know what? When I figure out how to do what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a tutorial and put it on YouTube <laughs> because this is this is great idea. The world needs to see because honestly the customer support is it just seems like trash I must say and the fact that this isn't like. Like I'm, I've been able to hear myself back this whole time, but like at a slight delay. So it's not like it's not like as I speak, it comes back to me, you know. Whereas uh. every other time that I've had my mic uh, being used, it, it always is immediate. So it's not uncomfortable to listen to. And now you guys are hearing my my YouTube videos through my fucking mic, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Jesus Christ, whatever. All right. Thanks for helping me test this koala. I appreciate no it. My gosh. And I'm sorry, everyone on the stream that is now gone that I put you all through this. <laughs> Listen, just this me, is... myself, and I. Um, I, Once we manage to get this thing sorted, then the streams are going to be a whole lot better because I'm going to be able to use all these like uh, uh, touch pads and things like that to to do some cool effects and different different things for the streams. And it's, it's just going to be a whole lot of fun. It really, will, it yeah. really, really will be. But until that point, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. Like an absolute pain in the ass. I'll get it there eventually. Fingers crossed. Momentary latching. Um. Yeah. I hope. Uh, I hope it doesn't take too long. Look, I can also go like. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, I guess if, if like, and if I keep speaking while I press it, then it's uh, then it's gonna. Like it'll mute me as well. Uh. No, you see, I was talking through the whole thing. Like you're such a. <laughs> it's great. That's funny. Anyway. Oh my I hope. Uh, huh. No, nothing. 
I don't want this trash talk. Well, I'll press trash talk will mute the audio output to remote guests, meaning they won't be able to hear you or your guests in the same room. <laughs> so when you have open mic on games and you just want to, that's idiot. <laughs> I I st I don't understand that. You're gonna have to walk me through that because <laughs> I, I I I'm reading it, but I don't. It's not picking up in my brain. It's basically you just mute yourself for other people. All right. Well, let let me try it. Hold on. If so, if so, you're saying now? I don't believe this is real. I, I think this is a whole load of baloney. But if I... yeah, yeah. Okay, so that did just mute me while I was holding it. Let me hear if it meets in the stream. Huh? Yeah, it meets on the stream as well, so it just mutes yeah. you. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it did mute me on the stream, but like... Interesting. Interesting. I feel like there's a lot that I can do with this. Um, I feel like um, I, I might be able to integrate it as well with uh, OBS. Um, well, I'm using Streamlabs OBS, uh, sh so it might be a bit different, but I'm sure I can find a way to get this to work together. So that maybe I can like mm -hmm. switch scenes or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it all that at a later point. But thanks for hanging out with me. I'm tired as hell. So I'm going to get into bed. Thanks. And uh, yeah. Have a great night, Koala. Thank you. You too. Sweet dreams. You too. Peace out. Um.